And then I started the job and all my friends and family thought like, wow, this is so huge. It's a very momentous step in your career and all that. But I couldn't help myself from telling myself, oh, you're still nowhere. You're still doing nothing. You're still at the bottom of the totem pole. And I don't know, saying this out loud right now, it's kind of ridiculous because I still am only a few months out of graduation. And I know lots of people in my position would would love to be where I am right now. Um, But this is how I am. I I grew up being so hard on myself and, and being such a perfectionist. And never feeling like anything was ever going to be good enough. And that I needed to be at the top of everything. I needed to be the best or else. What's the point? And that's still how I am. And even though I'm working on a production, I I still know that I'm, I'm still just a PA. And that's what I tell myself. I'm just a PA. I'm just doing organizational stuff. I don't really have any real mark on the production. And because of that... You know, I I felt like I'm still nowhere. And I'm so hard on myself. And it's it's exhausting being this hard on myself and never being content with where I am. And there's a side of me that that tells myself that, you know, you're not doing enough. You're not far enough. What are you doing? Some people are probably ahead of you. Some people are doing this. You're not even enjoying your life. (laughs) Um... But then, you know, the logical side of me tells myself, no, you you should be proud of yourself. You've only been out of college for a couple months and and you're doing well and you need to to be easier on yourself. But because I have this overachiever, perfectionist mindset, I, I can't shut off my brain and I can't stop worrying and seeing the system now you know working as a PA on a series um on a show it's created this never-ending wave of worry of what's gonna happen after the production wraps and it's going to end in a couple weeks and then I'm not gonna have a job and the other job in which I was writing that ended a couple weeks ago because you know, the, the people I was working for got caught up in life and they got married or had a kid and, and just needed to put the project on pause. So I lost that revenue stream. I'm going to lose this one in a couple of weeks and then I'm going to be completely unemployed. And what am I going to do? And what if I can't find another job? And I feel like I got the one that I'm on now, the PA job through luck. And what if I don't get lucky again? I'm just scared of what's going to happen in a couple of weeks when I'm unemployed. And then all I'm going to have to do is sit at home alone in my apartment, all alone, (laughs) thinking about how I don't have a job. And I don't know when my next job is going to come around. And I hate feeling this, this powerless, that I'm at the mercy of other people coming across my resume or pulling me under projects and all that stuff. I hate it. And I'm so stressed out. And like, even at work, I, I feel like I need to be perfect and always busy and always doing everything to prove my my worth and my potential. And I feel like I haven't been able to do that for, for a multitude of reasons. And I don't know. Somehow being more inside of the industry has made it feel more vast and and more impossible to do well in. But like, I don't know. How do you escape the worry of what happens after this job? Will somebody pull me onto another project? Will I find a job? Will I, how, I don't, I feel like I don't have any power. And I'm at such a low point mentally that it's like horrible. That like, I, I, it's just a difficult industry. And I'm scared of being an adult and feeling like I need to do things and I miss being able to just like hide away in my room either when I lived with my parents or like in high school or even college you have the excuse of like being a student so that you don't have to like work it's just an excuse and right now being graduated is like I I have to find a job I have like now is crunch time now is my early 20s I need to be accelerating in my career 
um, faster than I am now. And it's, it's, uh, this industry makes you feel powerless. And it makes it, it, I don't know, for me at least, I know it's a tricky road ahead. And I feel like I I knew that before. Everybody always says going into any, like going to the film industry, going in, into any creative industry is difficult. And there's countless films and books and stories and stuff written about about this about the struggling artist trope to the extent that it's almost oversaturated but in a way I feel like it's romanticized and people think oh like it's difficult but then they end up famous and successful and happy and and all that and rich but in actuality there's a lot of people that go through this and are the struggling artist and then never reach what they once dreamed of and I'm scared of falling into that I feel like I thought when I was going into when I was choosing this as a career path that like my passion and my ambition and my hard work and maybe even the the ego in me thought that like my my intellect or, or some level of talent in me could could make me different from the rest of the struggling artists because even growing up I, I was always in you know group projects where I was pulling the weight in college I had lots of assignments where I felt like I was I was pulling the weight and stuff, and I was thinking, okay, all these filmmakers, they, they claim to be so passionate and stuff, but they're not even doing the bare minimum. They don't care about the products we're making. So I thought, okay, I'm so unique. I'm so hardworking and passionate. Um, I'll be fine. Because I bet a lot of the saturation in the industry is actually just people not trying that hard. But it really feels like every card there is is stacked against me i don't know what i'm gonna do my plans right now i'm just gonna keep applying to everything everyone tells me it's gonna be fine (laughs) and and that's what i try to tell myself and i just can't help but be worried and scared and a part of me wonders what if i just like changed career paths what if i had studied something different there's nothing else that really sticks out in my head to what I'd be passionate about, but at least I would have a more stable industry to go into. These are just my feelings right now, like six months out of graduation, and I'm still so young. I'm only 21, and I know that the world is going to change, but for now, my mental state is like so low. I have lots of issues. I'm constantly stressed. I, I don't know. I'm just going to keep applying. I'm going to wish for the best. I'm going to try to keep my mental state in check. I'm going to try to stay happy and, well, stay happy. I feel like that's all I can do. Well, this has been a good episode. (laughs) Has it been therapeutic? I don't know, because I don't really think I changed my outlook on anything. I guess to an extent... I feel like surely I'm not alone in all these feelings. I'm just scared of never reaching a place that I can be proud of myself and that I'm happy. And of course, this early on my and early on in my career, I wonder if I made a mistake. But my bigger fear is that that worry is never going to end. <laughs>